Hey y'all. Come on in. Come on in. You better. Come on in. Welcome y'all. Welcome to Daddy Life's Ministry Inc. I want to come on here and share a ministry video with you today. Okay. I want you to know I'm showing my shirt. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it says blessed. Okay. Blessed in the valleys, blessed in the field. Listen, we are blessed people. Why? Because we are true believers in our daddy Jesus. Okay. I want to come on here and just share this video to hopefully bring some inspiration, some encouragement. Let me cut my music down. How y'all doing, Daddy Lights? How is your day going? I'm hoping you're having a good day. Listen, I've been reading my word. I've been reading my word, and I'm telling you, that word. Is <laughs> God is amazing. Okay, what I'm hearing, what I'm reading, I'm reading in Acts right now, and I'm laughing. I'm like, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, that's what they get. Oh, God did that. Oh. That's my daddy, y'all. Like, you don't know. Like, don't play with Jesus. I promise you, you're not ready. So, that wasn't even a what I want to talk about. I'm sorry. I just got to thinking about how good that word got to me today. And I'm like, my God. Daddy, you better show him. You better let him know what that is. Okay? That part. That part right there. <laughs> God is so good, y'all. That's my Jesus, Joe. Okay? I want to come on here. And actually share what's in my heart. Okay. I want to again welcome all our new uh, comers. Our new subscribers. Thank you for just. Even if you're just visiting today. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. This platform is for. Um, we're encouraging each other. We, we're, we're, we're spreading the gospel. We're spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. Okay. Because that's why we're called Daddy Lights. Because Daddy in heaven, Jesus is our daddy, right? And lights, we are a light here in this dark world for daddy Jesus, okay? So that's why we're doing, we're here giving light to people. We're giving hope. We're giving encouragement, inspiration. Iron sharpens iron. Transparency transforms. You know, sometimes it takes that word to break that yoke, to to destroy those chains, to keep pull you up out of the, the slumps that would, the devil tried to keep you in, to keep you bound. But you're coming out today. How about that? You're growing and you're going today in Jesus' name. How about that? So, y'all listen. It's so much I want to say. Um, I'm going to be dropping two videos, and here's one of them. Okay? <sighs> oh, Lord Jesus. Okay? I want to tell you that sometimes you really, really, really have to be ready. You really have to be ready because when, when God will position you in a certain place, it's almost like you are now operating on a higher frequency than what you re recently and previously was on right it's like a new like you, when you're in your pl on the airplane traveling and you know how they'll tell you to prepare your ears may start popping even because you're you're entering into a new frequency you're going up to a higher level and sometimes y'all if you're not careful since you're not used to that that higher dimension you're not used to that the higher frequency and the higher uh, up in heaven as god is pulling you up further he's, he's pulling you on up closer sometimes you realize you be like oh like nothing is wrong nothing i mean you know don't get me wrong we're all work in progress right but it, it's a different frequency so therefore you at a higher altitude and what what was once common to you what once seemed normal to you maybe you was dealing with a little um i don't know someone with a toxic behavior toxic family toxic friends toxic relationships a toxic job and when god pulls you on up you no longer have to breathe that toxic or inhale that toxic energy now you in clean energy you in an energy that is just you and jesus it's, it's, it's about you know you getting more of the word of god and you're implementing it more into your life right you're living it out more and it's almost like as if you have to adjust right somebody got their bright lights on in front of me now i don't know why but i'm gonna keep going with this with this uh content okay because ain't nobody gonna mess this ministry video up okay 
nobody is going to get away me getting this this word out that's been in my spirit and my heart for my daddy jesus okay okay daddy lights we're going to go forth in jesus name so with that being said i am but again it's light it's light i'm not even mad because it's just light beaming on in I take that back. Maybe that's God confirming some things with us, Daddy Light, showing that light, that beam of light shining in. Okay, they're bagging out now. But I just want to tell you, I want to tell you, you have to be ready because something that you might have been comfortable with, accustomed to, now God is positioning you and taking you up higher. And what He has for you, you're like you're now like on a, a different uh, air frequency. The air breeze it, it, it you inhale it differently you exhale it differently here and you don't have a lot of those hang-ups you don't have a lot of that confusion because why god is not the jesus listen dad is not the author of confusion god is not so now you're in a frequency where you're not dealing with a lot of things that you once had to do in the past, whether it was something toxic, whether it was something unhealthy, whether it was something um, insecure, unstable, not consistent, or whatever it might have been that was causing strife in your life, right? That was bringing confusion into your life. That was making you feel like you weren't able to be your best version of yourself. That was distracting you. So as God, you show God that you're ready and God can trust you. And now he's giving you more and he's bringing you up higher with him you're flying in a new altitude that's the word i'm looking for is altitude oh jesus and you really have to trust that where god is taking you is where you belong because god why because god has been watching you god has been seeing you god knows your heart my um, pastor used to always say, can you stand to be blessed? Oh, my God. Why do you think God told um, Lot's wife to not look back? Because as he's taking you to, to a new level, he's taking you to a, to a new dimension. He's taking you to a new uh, altitude. He's taking you to a new dimension, a uh, um, destination even. What served you in your past can no longer serve you where God is taking you to. And you don't need confusion. Why? Because by you looking back or even wanting to go back, which is even worse, that's confusion. And God, where he has you and where he's taking you, God is not the author of confusion. And that's showing God that you can't, you're not ready. So maybe that's why she turned into a pillar of salt because one, she disobeyed God and she didn't do what God told her to do. She didn't listen. She wasn't obedient. She didn't trust God. And we know that obedience is better than sacrifice. Even when you don't understand God's ways, know you can trust him no matter what. It's many times where I've heard that small, still voice telling me to do something, even though my flesh didn't want to do it, but I know my spirit had to obey. Why? Because the flesh is weak when the spirit is willing. And I rather trust God and to stay where I think where I should be. Why? Because the Bible tells us to lean not to your own understanding. God works in mysterious ways. He can make something out of absolutely nothing. There is nothing too hard for our daddy Jesus, daddy lights. And it's always better to be obedient to God. It's be, obedience is better than sacrifice. So you always need to obey God. Because he knows what's best for you. Even when you can't even understand. Still trust his hand. Why? Because we can depend on God. God is faithful. God is consistent. That I do know. Why? Because I live it and I see it. And God is not a man that he should lie. Okay? Um, when I say that, I mean that, Daddy Lights. We are in good hands with Daddy Jesus. There is nothing too hard that our Father cannot do. And he makes ways out of no ways. Who else can do that? Nobody but God. Okay? So keep God first. Keep shining for our daddy Jesus in this dark world. Because it's time for us to get together and lift up the kingdom and spread the gospel. Spread the good news of Jesus like never before in this world we're living in now. 
God is moving. God is shifting some things. I feel some things brewing in my spirit and I can't wait to see what the end is going to be. God is up to something and God is moving and you do not want to be left behind. So keep God first. Stay focused, Daddy Lights, because that light, what? It looks good shining on you, okay? And God sees you. He loves you. He cares about you. And your work is not in vain. So you stay encouraged. Keep God first. And I see you on the next video.